doing the volley, it's very important that you have the timing right. Okay? So when you are in your stance and you're at the net, whether you come to serve in volley, whether you're playing doubles or you're already at the, at the net, whatever the scenario is, you're most likely going to have your first volley in this area. So your first volley is going to want, that's going to set up the next volley in most cases, or sometimes be the put away volley. And the thing that is very key, we have three phases in every skill when it comes to any sport, but especially the tennis. You have preparation, hitting, and follow through. Preparation in all sports is the majority of the phase, right? So the main thing to do is make sure that you get a nice split before they hit the ball. So you're gonna split and time it perfectly. If you make contact too early on the volley, like here, opposed to splitting here and having contact be here or if you get it too late to where you hit it and then now you got to hit through it if, if it's not on time the volley is going to feel off it's not going to feel the right time but when you hit it in the sweet spot and when the timing is right as you right before you're going to step that foot forward it's volley heaven yes, Make sure you're getting a nice split. Don't overturn the body. This is not a ground stroke where you're gonna get a full shoulder turn. You're not getting a full shoulder turn. The, your shoulders are not gonna turn much. It's in. We're gonna go here, maybe a slight turn, and we're gonna step. And also preparation is having the racket up already. Even if you watch the Bryan Brothers and some of these doubles players, they're here. You don't see them here. We don't see him here, we, you know, we're not here. We have to rack it up so that all we have to do is Okay, just keep it stupid simple. They talk about kiss. Keep it kissable. Stay in volley heaven. This is Coach Blake signing out. Shout out my Joe's. I am a Joe. Man, it's kind of